Hey guys, new tool is out and I'm here to present it. It's called the Pulse Tool. A lot of users wanted it and here it is. What can you do in the Pulse Tool? It's pretty easy. You can ask a question to your stream and they can answer in a poll. So you can, as an example, figure out what game to play or um, who is the winner of a contest show or just to ask them how their day was. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. As first part, we are on the Stream Now main page. And what you will need to do is um, select the tool, click on Pulse, and then you're gonna have you're gonna have this little Pulse tool out here to start a poll. Pretty easy. You can click on it, and then you have this this question box here. You can then, as an example, put your in your question. What's your favorite number? It doesn't really matter, it's just for the testing purpose. And then we have, uh, if the user can vote, vote once or multiple times, if the level requirement is higher than zero, or like we can set our level requirement here, if the user has to be a subscriber, and the most important part is if you want to use a rating as answer. If you click on use a rating as answer, you're gonna have all these numbers here that are gonna be the answers that users can use. Or you can just put in like a, a yes or a no as an example. So you can add as, uh, answers here, perhaps, whatever. These are the questions that the, the answers that users can use then afterwards um, to answer the giveaway. Then um, once we press new poll, you will see the poll and um, how it's going until then you you will be able to see the names of the people that answered you're going to see the the, the uh, yeah how many people answered in general you will see here, down here a bar chart with the answers um, you can then when people are done press stop the votes and then another time to show the results this is going to show the results on your obs and then you can press and poll to show the results and to show um, the whole poll, you can implement an OBS integration. You don't have to, um, but it's way easier and it looks way better. So when we click on OBS here, it's gonna open up a new OBS overlay. This is done to impl be implemented in your OBS. How do we do this? We copy the URL by clicking this button here. Then we create a new OBS browser source, browser source. Then we give it a name like Pulse. I'm calling it Pulse Testing. We paste in the URL. We put in the width and height that is set up here that we can read from here. There you go. And then once we are done with that, we set the width, we set the height, 600 and 700, and we press OK. Now we can see that the tool is here, but it's empty and you cannot see it. That is because you are not creating a poll right now. Um, we can then change the, the, the stylings by clicking on this box and clicking on modify colors. We can set the question color, the subtitle color, the answer color and the background. Um, the best way to actually adapt these things is by integrating your OBS overlay first, like we just did. And then when we go on polls, we create a new poll, and then we will see here in, OB in our OBS overlay already the poll. So we can see our poll with this. And now we can configure it in the meanwhile. As an example, let's say we want a different blue for the question color. And it should update automatically. There you go, it just takes a little bit of time. And then once that it's done and you like the style and uh, the styling that you gave it, you're good to go. And for the shadow in the behind, the, the box behind is the size of, of the box you give it. So if you want to have it a little bit more spread out and a little bit larger, you can set the width to, let's say, 800. But in general, you should keep um, the same styling as I showed you before. So now, as an example, if we start and we show the results, we can see in the overlay the results with the total votes and so on. So integrate the OBS overlay, try out the polls. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if there is any questions still, let me know, but it should be straight, pretty straightforward. Um, you can add your items for the answers, you set your question and you're good to go. 
um, have fun. And also don't, don't forget about the user rating because it's pretty easy sometimes to just give like an answer from 0 to 10 or if, even if you don't like 0 or the 0 10, you can also delete the items and make it smaller. And then you can just press new poll and then you're good to go. That is it. Hope you have a beautiful day and a nice holidays times if you celebrate holidays. Much love and I'll see you soon.